great. Um, let's just be absolutely still for a moment. For those of you who may not know me, uh, I'm sure most of you don't. Uh, I'm Reverend Ken Lee from the Holy Trinity Church, which is in Perry Bar. And this is yet another time I've been asked to come to this wonderful uh, gathering. And it's always good when we get together to celebrate wonderful anniversary of our leaders. Please bow your heads with me and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for the freedom. We thank you for the history of Barbados. We thank you for her people. We thank you for her leadership. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the present generation and like the next. Week, those who are without me tonight, but especially for those of us who are here, help us to be mindful always of the many blessings. So we ask for your blessings now upon this meal, upon our conversation in the name of the Father,
But a faith bank means, quite frankly, do you realise how many different faiths and how many places of worship exist in Birmingham? And have you ever worked out how much work they do in the community to help this city survive and the people in the community survive? It is quite enormous what they do. How they run places for the elderly, youngsters, nurseries, youth clubs, all these different things they do to that which we have problems to exist in our society. And never more relevant today. So my message today is do keep working together. Do work and be part of our great city. You are a major stakeholder in it. You're part of our city. We want you to be part of our city. And I do anyway. And I'm sure everyone else does. It's very important. It's quite true though, and sometimes we forget that we should treasure what we've got and defend it to the last and don't take it for granted. Thank you very much for working. You may not think it's a present when you've got it. <laughs> Recently, I wrote a book on civic enterprise in Birmingham, and it's a free gift to the Barbadian Association with my compliments and love for me. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam MC, Councillor Raj, executive and members of the second generation of Barbados and friends of Birmingham. Yes, it is true. When I was first told that I would come to Birmingham to represent the Barbados High Commission, they told me that there was a good bunch of people in Birmingham that I would enjoy myself. But, and it's true. I have enjoyed myself. There's a good bunch of people. They told me it would also be colder than London. And, yeah, I, I think that's rubbish too because it was, I walked about a mile today and it was quite good. Study Barbados from your Barbadians at home. And they want to say, just to ask the High Commission, that we love you so much and we appreciate the work that you in the diaspora are doing for Barbados. Tomorrow I will talk more about the, the work that the diaspora has done and how you have contributed to the economic and social development of our leaders and how you can continue to do so. And we hope that we can work together to do that. So, my friends, my newfound friends in Birmingham, because I, I only knew one person from Birmingham before. Though I don't even see him now. <laughs> but I want to say that I want you also to continue to be your brother's keeper. Because we have to look after our, our own here and back in Barbados. And I know that you will continue to be proud Bajans, my friend. Yeah. 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 No, those who know me will know that this is a bar that I hate. <laughs> I keep trying to get away from it, but. They will not be getting On behalf of Second Generation Barbados and Friends, I would like to thank you for attending our event tonight in celebration of Barbados' 45 years of independence. We have been in existence for over 13 years and we are proud to be playing a role in profiling Barbados and promoting it to the wider community as well as bridging the gap to the younger generation. Our recent newsletter contains a number of articles which were written by junior members highlighting their experiences in Barbados earlier this year. Their excitement in their tone of writing show we are doing a good job. Our past activities have included surgeries with the Deputy High Commissioner an internet link to the funeral for the late Prime Minister David Thompson attracted approximately 100 people. We have also organized various trips, including the Leeds Carnival. I also like to take this opportunity to introduce you to our executive committee. 
First of all is Lester Bird, President. Can you join up here, please? Angela King, Vice Chair. Susan W. Payne, Secretary. Mr. Mahon, who is Lord Treasurer, is at the door. Arlene Byrne. Earl Gordon. Jackie Daniels is your assistant secretary. Sharon Gibbon. Gibson. Our assistant collaboration officer. And our other committee members, Stephanie. Owen, who apparently cannot be with us today. Beverly. Jocelyn. Steve, who is at the door, and George. These are the people who meet monthly in organizing all of these activities. Uh, once again, thank you for your support and enjoy your evening. And we look forward to seeing you over again next year.
to know when they start to walk through, come and ask a question. I will tell the body, or I may tell the body for true. I may tell them nothing, only the ask. So will they join when they sell so far? Yes. Or will they win the song that will they eat enough food? <laughs> will they have sufficient food? Yes. And you got hungry. <laughs>